Here's what happens if you fight Root using the Hope Shot. Because it pierces through enemies before exploding, it works wonders against her. Here we go again. Remember, you need the hope shot to break through the barrier. Nothing else will go true. Welp, that was easy. Never mind. You're not telling on them. I like how this ending starts out a bit silly. I like how this ending starts up a bit silly. It's cute. White ending. So that's where her room is, right above Strange's prison.
It's because of plasma. Acknowledging a plot hole doesn't stop it from being a plot hole. I always thought it's because of plasma in the comets. You all saw what happened during the prologue. The same would have happened if we tried flying directly to the tower. Good night, slug. I'm not sure if we actually convinced Root, more like she simply resigned and gave up. The next adventure in The Wizard and the Comet.
I gotta say, compared with the neutral ending, this was far shorter. Black is the shortest, gray is the longest, and white is in between. Getting hitched. The chick is looking far more healthy. Returning a favor. Plasma's Floating Palace. Sorry for beating you up earlier. Well, it's too late for that, Root. We learned a lot about Root during this adventure, even though we mostly only saw her during the ending. She still loves her sister. Thank you. 
I don't know. In a few ways, the gray ending feels superior, because in this one, Root has still not gone over this issue, so three of the great wizards still remain imprisoned. Even though he's named Trude, he doesn't always speak the truth. <laughs> what a whiplash. Rest in peace. Inger Velu. So this was the quote-unquote best ending. This marks the end of my let's play of The Wizard and the Slug. Here are my overall toss in this game. Graphics are charming, simplistic but charming. Kind of flat, but it works I guess. Gets better over time. Music was fun. Not exactly memorable, but it works. There are two or three tracks which I do find somewhat memorable, but eh. Gameplay like the graphics was more on the simplistic side. It does gradually get tougher and more complicated with the addition of different shot types and dashing, as well as the mechanics involving double triple jumping and how you're vulnerable if you fire too many shots. But other than that, it never got too hard. It's like what Jaden said earlier. It's one of those mid to early era Newgrounds titles. Really, where this game shines is with the story, although it does lead to one of my criticisms with the game. If you don't play on arcade mode, there are too many spots where a charm or someone else decides to interrupt you with the story, and that breaks the flow of the stages. Now, I'm not talking about those sections in between the stages where you have those funny NPCs. It does sort of alleviate by the end game, but in the early to mid game, it becomes a nuisance. I understand putting story interruptions, but Please put them in more regular chunks. In fact, due to how simple the gameplay is other than the ending, I honestly was looking more forward towards the story itself. Namely the story between Slug, Celiano, Charm, Pod, and everyone else. This game is a mixture of silly and serious stuff. In a way, it kind of reminds me of Kirby games. The game starts out super silly, with some of the basic enemies being berries, mushrooms, etc etc with a very cheerful environment. But gradually over time it becomes more and more serious, with the silly NPCs gradually becoming lower and lower in number. I honestly prefer the serious side of the story more than the silly side. Most of the jokes on the silly side, they didn't quite hit the mark for me. They were just, I guess, grown warty. But I do find Charm's out of touch humor hilarious. In short, I'd only recommend this game if you enjoyed the story, characters, and or world building, and you don't mind the simpler action platforming. Otherwise, I'd recommend waiting for a deep sale or looking elsewhere. Nonetheless, I enjoyed my time at this game. In the future, I'll have bonus episodes dedicated to the boss rush and challenge levels. And once again, I thank the developer for providing me a key for their title. It's really appreciated.
Oh no. I guess so. In any case, thank you for watching my let's play of the wizard and the slug viewers. If you enjoyed it, please rate, comment, favorite, and or subscribe, as they all help out the channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Mastodon as well, and join my Discord server as I regularly post updates there. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all in a future Let's Play.